Good afternoon, my name is John Tanner. I'm also known as the Wigger. And I'm just basically here at the library today, holding a level of tranquility and trying to maintain balance. It's extremely humid. The heat is way past normal sea, so if you do, you know, if you are in the Caribbean, in this area, I would advise you to drink excessive amount of water just so your body don't go to or navigate itself even closer to the proximity of dehydration. Um, today's topic is a very complicated topic, but yet I would just like to, before we get to that part of the, of the vlog, I would just like to let you know, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. The content is for you, also others, if you feel within the bounds you to share it to a friend to share with your experience and with the wigger himself I'm a very serious person just in general and I believe that the continuity of life is our priority and I also believe as an adult I should prioritize my life to get the necessary results that I'm seeking first of all Today's topic is about women that's involved in relationships that their parents controlled. Yes, it's a complicated, it's a complicated topic. There's a lot of men and women in relationships and the family. One section of the family is trying to control the relationship. First of all, if you're a man, you should not be living in the house with your mother and your significant other. It's counterproductive. It's, it's, it's not beneficial for both parties and it's going to lead to a long line of complications and, and numerous unacceptable arguments which could possibly escalate into something physical. I just want to tell the mothers and the fathers out there, when your family has a relationship, you need to stay the fuck out of it. Let two young lovers figure out what their life really should be about. Most of the times, in most cases, they try to literally guide them, like they guide them to how to conduct a relationship. Most men that live in the house with their moms, they try to control them. Especially if their girl is around and the girl is not good enough for the man. She's always at a level to where it has. She's going to be at a level to where it has. It's going to be constant friction in the house. I mean... I don't know how Caribbean people live their life, but if I'm married to a female, um, if I'm involved with a female in a relationship, there's no way my mother and my father could be in the house. And I certainly would not live with a female in her house with her mother. So once a man make the decision or render the decision to stay in the house, same residency as his parents. It's gonna call total. It's gonna cause total confusion, and in addition, that is gonna cause total confusion. It's gonna be so much hostility in the relationship that it wouldn't really go as far as you would intend for it to go. It's too many ingredients in a situation that doesn't take the two people to figure it out. So then you'll have an individual standing here, his mother on his left shoulder, and his girlfriend is on his right shoulder, or his girlfriend on his right shoulder. Either or vice versa. They have a lot of antique males. When they get involved with a female, their mother want to basically take over the relationship, tell them what to do, where to go. They even want to control the female. So everybody out know, here living a rusty, dirty life. I mean, come on. When you have your kids, they already made it possible for themselves. They've made it to a stage where they they can comprehend life. They can make their fair and just decisions for their life. When they do make these decisions, 
how is it that you get involved and try to become a part of their everyday life? Some mothers are simply jealous of their son. Some, some mothers act like they want to fuck their own son. Some males watch their daughters also. No man is good enough. You gonna fuck your own daughter? You're constantly eyeballing her. You're constantly telling her what to do, how to operate, who you want at the house, who you don't want at the house. You got your daughter living in your house and you trying to control. Every man that live in the house with his mother and his girl is living in the house, huh? you're going to be a filly in the future. And every man that lives in a female house that lives with her mother or her father, that relationship is definitely going to be a failure. Most relationship is at a failing point once there's too many people involved in it. Because there's only two people in a regular relationship. And you have the person, mother and the father. And it's the same thing with the other side. They might have a mother and a father. Now, if, for instance, you choose to live in that house, you couldn't even raise your voice if you wanted to express yourself. It would become a problem. Now, men become effeminated by women based on the environment they're in. Men are making decisions to be involved with women and live with their family. First of all, you have a significant other because your intention is to manufacture and design a family. That's the intent. Most men that live in the significant other's residency end up spending way more money than they really have to simply because it will just simply happen. You're supposed to be by yourself, which is significant. When that happens, it creates more volume. It creates more positive surrounding for both parties. Your mother wants to see everything good happen for you, but at the same time, she wants to control it. It's the same thing with a the man. They got men that watch their daughter so much. You wonder, like, yo, do you fuck his daughter? Or what? Then you have women... They have their sons, all their daughters. I remember there was one time I was seeing this one particular female. I was just getting to know her, and we had a little thing going on and everything. So, I mean, the first initial part of a relationship, I did not access her residency. Then one day, I decided, like, look, I want to, you know, want to check out this chick, see what she was doing. Anyway, well, the first time I went to her house, I never met her mother before, and she introduced me to her mother, and the first thing her mother says to me is, can I have some money to cut the grass? I'm looking at her like, what you mean? I don't live at this residence. What you mean? I don't have to deal with this. Like, why would you ask me such a thing? It's the first time you're meeting me. So she was trying to capitalize off of her daughter having a relationship with me. These are the ingredients and scenarios that wreak havoc on a personal relationship. Now, if you think about it on a technical term, she just breached me. She just violated. She requested to do. She requested something that was too intricate. Something that was simple, but it was certainly asking for too much. Cause not because I'm involved with your daughter, I'm not responsible for your life. So now a lot of women are basically schooling their daughters, programming them on how to deal with dudes, so they could also benefit.
if they're not abusive, they, it's still going to be toxic at the end of the day. The relationship is certainly going to be toxic. The relationship would have no value and balance because it's too much words involved, too much of this, it's too much of that. So you can get it simple. Most men, if, if you do, most men that's in a relationship and want the relationship to go with some quality and, you know, some great essence, you got to separate, you got to, you got to get out of the house, you got to leave the house with your mother and your father and start a new family. It's time for you to start the family. It's very essential. You can be productive, live a luxurious life. Look at our predecessors. Our predecessors been through the storm, been through the shoot, they did it. So you just gotta look back at our um, our history. And once we learn from our history, we know then that family member living in the house, those who are initiating or involved in a relationship. Is gonna become toxic eventually because it's your priority. It's your priority to stay on top of your game. Look, I'm wigging on. I mean, I've been wigging for years. I had situations like that. We had girlfriends and my dad was around. It was the same effect. It became toxic. So if you live in what's in your mother house in a relationship, get the F out. Father. Get the fuck out. Start a new life. There's a lot of things that could be accomplished, but not when there's too many words involved. Too much people. So yeah, I'm signing out. This is the end. Those who are in relationships and their family members are living in the house. Try to figure it out eventually because it's not going to go anywhere with them around. 